Welcome to a brief video on S&P 500 technical analysis and we've got a daily chart of the S&P 500 E-mini futures contract from the Chicago Mercury Steel Exchange on here off on uh, the screen for you. It's got a 200 day moving average in blue, a 20 day moving average in red and a 5 day moving average in green. You can't see it on here but the S&P 500 closed up 96 points today. That's 96 points up. Closed at a high of 37.73 was the high, 36.41 was the low, and 37.72. So it closed right real close to its highs. Uh, closed above the 20-day moving average, closed above the 5-day moving average, right about in this range where my pointer is, but still below the 200-day moving average. So S&P 500 still in a bear market, but it came down, caught the support we thought it would get earlier in the week, and rallied up strong. However, did not make a new high above this range. So that's a really interesting development. It, it, it went up 96 points, and you think it would have would have gone through and it didn't so we're gonna have to wait and see what happens next week we've got to get a close through this this uh, 3777 level that's the uh, resistance point and we'll see what happens but it does appear like we've got the moving averages for the 5 and the 20 underneath price and so it's possible that it'll trade down a little bit here Monday and maybe Tuesday maybe even Wednesday but then head on up here and and try to get past this 3820 resistance because it's got to do that to get back up in here to close to 4000 excuse me to a 38900 and start to begin its movement back up into a solid rally to approach the 200 day moving average so for next week I expect probably another attack on this bottom down here at 3666 um, if it violates that that's bad news for the S&P it means we're going to go down back probably close to 3600 or even less if it doesn't violate that if it continues to kind of hover around and uh, then rally back up at towards the end of the week then that's good news and we may get a rally in this uh, S&P up to 3900 in the next couple weeks so we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens there you can take a look long term on a weekly chart here this is S&P 500 weekly. You see we're still bouncing around this 200 week moving average, but this week we did not violate it. Last week we did. We managed to hold it this week, which is a really good sign in terms of being able to get ourselves back up in the 38, 39, uh, the 39 to uh, 4,000 range. So this is a 20 week moving average, uh, 20 week moving average, and this is a five week moving average. We closed above the five week moving average, not above the 20 week. So we're in between here, very, a whole lot of uncertainty going on from a technical perspective as to whether or not the S&P has in fact uh, put in a bottom down here in the week of October 10th at 35.2. So we'll see what happens next week. Um, it's really kind of indeterminate. It's going to depend on what happens next week. Let's go down here and take a look at RBAM Research algorithmically generated entry prices for S&P 500 from Monday the 24th. They're out here early. It's Friday night. I'm talking to you Friday night, putting this out early. This is for the 24th of October, 1, 2, 5, 10, and 20 day hold periods. And we're looking at shorts for Monday morning on a two-day hold 38.04 and looks like all across the board until we get to the 20-day 37.88 which is not that much farther uh, than where we were uh, putting in a high today so 38.04 and then 37.88 for the 20-day hold these are trading days so in Monday out Tuesday at a loss just before the market closes or Take your profits as soon as you get them. Same thing across here, 2, 5, 10, and 20. So if you did the 20, assuming your own analysis said it was a good idea, you'd get in the markets Monday and get out 20 trading days later at a loss or take your profits as soon as you got them. So that's how these work, calling for shorts on the S&P 500 E-mini futures contract Monday the 24th. You can get access to all these all the time at rbamresearch.com. They're updated every morning before uh, eight, uh, 7 a.m., but you can often get them before 6 p.m. the night before if you head over to RBM Research they should usually be up we put up 190 stocks the major forex pairs BTC crypto and the most liquid futures contracts no credit card required free access follow the link in the description below to rbmresearch.com put in your email and get signed up for free everything you've seen and heard on here including our enterprises and commentaries for entertainment purposes only you should always do your own analysis you definitely trade at your own risk if you like the, this uh, video please click the like button if you want to subscribe please do that as well and if you have a great comment for us we'd love to hear it in the comment section below